man stares intently as his suitcase is searched. What's the name, mate? I said sweet son. But Brandon's not falling for that. He opens the package to check the contents himself. After tearing into the briefcase, it doesn't take long to make a significant discovery. At Bristol Airport, a flight has just landed from Malaga in Spain. Border agency officers working in immigration are alerted to a couple who've been acting suspiciously. A woman dressed in black and a man in a stripy jumper head to baggage reclaim. Officer Brandon decides to follow them to monitor their behavior. We got two targets from Malaga. Um, we pull them on, just quick chat and check what they've got. You never know. Brandon moves into position, ready to intercept the couple as they pass through the customs channels. Hello, they're both customs. Just come through, please. You are together, yeah? How long have you both been away? Oh, a long day. Yeah, how long? Two weeks, two weeks. OK. And where have you travelled whilst you've been away? Oh, just from Spain, <coughs> just in the hardest costa. Right. You stayed in one place, or...? Yeah, about all around holidays. Just normal. OK. Yeah. You ever been stopped by customs before? No, no, no. OK. No. Bags packed for yourselves? Everything in the cases belong to yourselves. Right. Also, where certain things aren't allowed to be brought into the UK, drugs, weapons, obscene to you. The man stares intently as his suitcase is searched. He then removes a mobile phone, which causes suspicion. No, it's not okay. Sure, yeah, sure. Just uh, part of the check, yeah? He gets his phone back, but seems a little agitated. <coughs> then a package is found, which might explain why. What's the name, mate? Eh? Uh, it's uh, sweets. Sweets. All sweets. For kids. Right, well, you'll open it up because I can't see what's in there. Go on. But Brandon's not falling for that. He opens the package to check the contents himself. Yeah, so sweets, is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's cannabis, it isn't it? Herbal cannabis? You're not sure? You said you packed the case yourself? Yeah. All right. But yeah, this time, all right, you're under arrest. All right? All right. Basically, you put, you're both under arrest. You're both traveling together, OK? On suspicion, important and illegal drug, control drug, all right? Now, you do have to say anything, but... Me harm your defence if you do not mention in question something you're too late to rely in court, right? Anything you do say, you begin an evidence. Do you understand? With both passengers under arrest, their cases continue to be searched. And it doesn't take long to find a number of identical packages. How much you got in total, mate? The search now moves on to his wife. Almost immediately, Officer Brandon finds something hidden in the clothing. This time, he suspects it's cannabis resin. And as with the man's case, there's more than just one package. The drugs have been crudely concealed in clothing with little attempt to hide what's inside. As the last block is removed from the case, the couple know they've been caught red-handed. There's uh, six resin uh, cannabis and four packages of uh, herbal cannabis. Um, I'm not sure which at the moment. I understand we're saying, but I can't at the moment, all right. The man should perhaps be more concerned about the illegal drugs found in his suitcase than having a cigarette. But tampering with the drug seizure will only get him in more trouble. 
As the couple are taken away for a full body search, officers are eager to find out how much they found. 2.68 kilos of herbal cannabis and 5.48 kilos of cannabis resin adds up to a haul worth over 20,000 pounds. It's a huge amount of illegal drugs removed from the street. It has been adopted by a higher level team, if you like, within the department, and they usually only take on the larger cases. So, uh, so we wait and see, but it is a substantial amount. There's no getting away from that. It's been an excellent day for Brandon. Less so for the couple, who will now be detained in custody. At Gatwick Airport, a flight has just arrived from Antigua. Suitcases from the flight are unloaded and checked by sniffer dogs before passengers collect them in the terminal. One female passenger from the flight has raised suspicion. After passing through immigration, she was seen changing her clothes in the toilets. So UK border agency officer George has stopped her for questioning. She actually changed outfits from when I saw her down by immigration when she was getting her passport swiped. When talking to her in the channels, she actually said that it's because she had a long journey and she had some soggy clothes which she needed to change out of. It's a suspicious activity. Normally people would just wait. George carries out a routine search of the woman's bags. When she went upstairs, I noticed that she had a carry-on holder, which sometimes they can actually sneak drugs through their holders. The hold all and its contents are taken away to be x-rayed. Officers will be looking for any hidden concealment. George continues his search of the woman's suitcase. The hold all gets the all clear, but the woman's laptop looks decidedly suspicious. On the x-ray, it's sort of uneven. As it goes in, it shows that there may be something inside. With concerns there may be drugs hidden in the laptop, it's taken away to a workshop to be properly assessed. Did you get OK, what's happened, image? yeah, we've got a clear image and it shows... It may seem brutal, but the only way to find out if it does contain anything illegal is to break it open. It looks like their hunch was right. Officers discover a package they suspect to be drugs, stuffed inside the laptop. A simple test will be able to confirm their suspicion. All he's doing now is splitting it to take a small sample, which we can test on this cocaine reagent here, so which will give us an indication as to what type of drug it is. The reagent will turn blue if the substance is cocaine. It is there. With a positive identification for cocaine, the news is now broken to the woman. Carried out an examination of the laptop, and we have found a, a white substance hidden behind the screen. We've carried out a field test for cocaine, which has come up positive. So the time is 10 19. We're arresting you on suspicion of being involved in the importation of controlled drugs. Do not have to say anything. I'm not. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention one question or something which you later rely on your call. Do you understand? Yes. As she's led off for further questioning, officers take this opportunity to use the cocaine as a training aid for sniffer dogs. Well, we try and um, educate the dogs on life reward, on live concealment because we can't replicate that. Uh, they've spent a lot of effort to sort of hide that concealment in that laptop. We just can't do that with our training samples. So now the dogs are sort of learning curves just shot right up. With the game now well and truly up, the woman's attitude begins to change. This is for Hillary. <laughs> she may be laughing now, but all that awaits her is an empty cell. Officers stay with the woman while her belongings are checked in, and she's informed of her rights. 
Meanwhile, George inspects the cocaine concealment further. There's a lot of work which has gone into this. This would be actually considered a deep concealment for a rudimentary way of trying to, I suppose, disguise it from an X-ray was by covering it in foil, but um, obviously it hasn't worked. Right, just want to take your fingers off and put them here. As the woman is checked into her cell, she starts to vent her frustration. And if you do need us, do it in here. here. Me. Just listen to me, let us know if you need anything else. Would you like to see the part of the blood with the film, right? You want to see that part? She's getting a bit upset now. When she was stopped, even when the whole her computer was being x-rayed, she was quite calm. But everyone's different. Everyone reacts in different ways, so there, there is no way you can spot a drug smuggler, is it? They come in all shapes and sizes. One thing left to find out is the weight of the drugs. So that's coming in at around about 530 grams. So depending on its purity, it could actually be quite substantial. With an estimated value of £25,000, it's been a very successful day for the officers. Less so for the woman, who will have plenty of time to contemplate her actions. At Gatwick Airport, a flight has just landed from Bridgetown in Barbados, a popular transit route for drug smugglers. The body language of one passenger has caught the eye of officers. He's been acting nervously since coming through immigration, so he's pulled over to answer a few questions. Hello, sir. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Two. Yeah. I planned it about uh, a month ago. I bought the ticket early last week. So did you go from Canada to yeah 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 to not just uh, yeah yeah went from there. But I figured it's better to go there first. And all the things and all the bags to make sense. A quick search of the man's suitcase has revealed nothing suspicious, but his animated and nervous behaviour is causing great concern. Have you used any cocaine while you've been away? No, I haven't. So if we do an X-ray of you. Okay, you no, no, no packages. You sure? Do you have no problem doing an extra? Yeah. Are you sure about this? Sure. Yeah? But the man's answers aren't convincing, and he started to sweat noticeably. A swab test of his suitcase is carried out for any traces of drugs. The machine gives an extremely high reading for the presence of cocaine. As the circumstances become even more suspicious, officers escort the man to a private interview room for questioning. Here, they hope he may confess to being a drug smuggler. You can't stop talking. You look as nervous as anything. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, go on. I think you might have drugs inside you or on your person. Okay? He's basically done a couple of uh, iron tracks and they've come up quite high. He suspects that it may be internal concealment. So he's just having to just arrested him now and then I'll, I'll dare say providing we get acceptance from him that we'll uh, body scan him just to check that he's clear. Yeah. Smugglers carrying packages internally often secrete traces of drugs through the sweat in their shoes. A swab test is conducted for any further hits of cocaine. And another very high reading for cocaine causes more concern, giving officers a good reason to put the passenger through a full body x-ray. Right. Is this a consent? Yeah, because yeah. you're taking our x-ray. Yeah. We need your consent to say that you'll do it for us. Well, I'm not going to give you my consent. I think this is a load of crap. OK, well, what happens then if you don't do the x-ray? You stay with us until you've produced two clear bowel movements, however long that may take. If you don't want to do that, fine, we'll just take you downstairs, get you custodised, put you in a cell in a white suit, and we'll wait there till you've moved your bowels twice to show there's no packages there. 
What can you do it now if I do it next try? You're cool. The man's options are limited. They'll find out one way or another whether he swallowed any drugs. Right, now what you need to do, this conveyor belt's going to move, yeah? You're going to stand on it. You need to stand on it as I'm standing on it, nice and straight, yeah? Arms by his side, nice and still. And breathe out slowly, yeah? Until your lungs are empty and hold. With the net closing in, officers try to get him to confess. How many packages have you got? I've got cocaine or something, No. Incredibly, he's still denying it. But the X-ray images confirm their suspicions that he's stuffed with packages. The man is led away to the airport's custody suite. Let us know immediately if you feel unwell. Hello. He kept pleading his innocence, but after a week and a half in custody, he eventually went to the toilet and produced 36 packages of cocaine with a street value of over 30,000 pounds. Gatwick Airport South Terminal. A flight from Puerto Plata in the Dominican Republic has just landed. Vigilant UK border agency officers, with the aid of highly trained sniffer dogs, are always on the lookout for drug smugglers from the Caribbean. And one passenger has triggered great interest. The man's nervous behavior has led to him being targeted. As he passes through the customs channels, Officer Michelle has been observing his body language. Thank you. She decides to intercept the passenger to ask him a few questions. Hello, sir. Have you got your passport on you, please? That's great. Have you got your ticket as well? Any ticket? And where do you live, sir? In Holland. So how long are you here for? How long are you here in England for? No, to be, I'm going to Holland. Right, so you've been to Porta Plata. Come here, and from here you're going back to Holland, are you? Where, when? When are you going back to Holland? Is it a flight from here or a flight from Heathrow? All right, have you got the ticket for that? Michelle keeps firing questions to find out if he's telling the truth. No cigarettes at all, nothing like that. OK, you also know it's illegal to bring any controlled drugs, weapons, explosives, etc., into the country, yeah? And these are your bags, are they? Did you pack your bags yourself? So you know what's inside them, do you? The man's travel plans just don't seem right, and Michelle is becoming increasingly suspicious. Just been out on a package holiday. Not staying with friends or anything, went out on his own. He works in a factory in the Netherlands. He's flying on back today. They're all all right, aren't they? The X-ray shows no concealments of drugs, but a concerned Michelle still isn't happy. Sometimes we have a problem with people bringing drugs through on their bodies, OK? okay? So therefore, we want, just want to give you a rub down of your body, OK? But we won't do it here. We'll do it out the back, OK? As the man's led away, there's a feeling his story just doesn't add up. He only works in a factory in Holland, so it's obviously not really well paid. Um, he's picked to go to Porta Plata, which is an unusual place for someone to go. He's gone on his own and um, he's booked it all last minute. He's got all the extras you can possibly have. So it makes his holiday very expensive just for seven nights to, and to go on his own. It's, it's just bizarre, that's all. You just get feelings with some things and it just, just doesn't seem right. In a dramatic turn, the man is taken for a full body scan to find out if he's smuggling drugs inside his body. Do you want anyone else to be here? No? To be told you're here with us. You are entitled to read that if you wish. Obviously, Michelle is about to discover whether her instinct sorry. is correct. Yeah, the other way, sorry. Yeah, if you stand like this, that way. Yeah? Yeah. Go, go up onto the top, onto travel, travel later. If you can breathe in as well, that will help us. Okay. Ready, breathing. As he holds his breath, the man's fate hangs in the balance. His day is about to get a lot worse. He's stuffed with packages of drugs. OK, sir, from what we can see on the X-ray, looks like you have packages inside you. Time is 08.53 hours. I'm arresting you on suspicion of being involved in the importation of a controlled drug. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention one question, something that you later rely on in court. 
Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand that? OK, sir. He's got little packages which will probably be condoms full of cocaine. And now, literally, we've got to take him down, get him custodised, and then he needs to concentrate on getting those packages out. Um, because he doesn't realise, you know, if, if one of those burst or leaked, it could cost him his life. He's made aware of his rights by the custody officer and for his own safety is told to get the packages out of his system as quickly as possible. Basically, when people have an internal concealment, um, to make sure we can see if they produce anything, we change them into a, what we call a white paper suit, and then we can see if there's anything happening. And underneath, they'll be um, completely naked. The man indicates he needs to go to the toilet but this is no ordinary toilet trip. And this is no ordinary loo. So he's gone into the special toilet facility where if he starts producing packages, um, they then have to be cleaned up by the officer who's gone in with him. And um, then they'll be bagged up as well. So just waiting for him to come out to see if he has actually produced any. Yeah, yeah, probably not. The gentleman said he needed the toilet. And while I haven't counted them at the moment, Looks like he's produced around 20 packages and he's told the custody officer he's got 60 something. So, obviously, the quicker they're, they're out of his system, the best chance he's got of survival, basically. The process of washing the packages is a very dirty job, but someone's got to do it. If one of the packages were to split, basically, he ends up in, with death within minutes, unfortunately. So, but that, that is why we try and get packages out of people as quickly as we possibly can, because the consequences of a first package are pretty serious. With the packages washed, Officer Paul must bag them up and weigh them to find out what quantity of drugs the man was carrying. Definitely big packages. <laughs> 344 grams of cocaine so far. If you take away a little bit for the packaging, etc., it's probably about 300 grams. Of one kilo nowadays is worth around £50,000. So he's, he's probably carrying about £50,000 worth of drugs with him. Packages here. They're now seized from you, OK? And they're all yours. Up to you, please. The Dutchman pleaded guilty to smuggling cocaine and was sentenced to five and a half years in prison. Further inquiries resulted in another arrest. At Gatwick Airport, a flight has just landed from Montego Bay in Jamaica. UK border agency officers are using drug detection dogs and an X-ray machine to monitor luggage coming off the flight. A dog indication has been given on two suitcases and the X-ray strongly suggests that there are drug smugglers on the flight. In the baggage reclaim area, officers closely monitor the first of the passengers to collect one of the suspect's suitcases. A young mother and child collect the case and head towards the customs channels. It's here that Officer Mike steps in to stop the woman and break the news to her. The woman is led away for further questioning, but protests her innocence. Please don't play the game. Right, we're going to be getting some women in to search you anyway. That's fine. Right. Meanwhile, the second suspect suitcase is collected by another passenger. Hello there, sir. You travelling alone today? Just bring your bag over to the bench for me, please. The man declares he's the owner of the suitcase, so Officer Gary confirms his fate. I'm arresting you on suspicion of the illegal importation of a controlled drug into the UK. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you don't mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand you've been arrested and cautioned? All right, if you come this way with me. The man is also led away for further questioning. Straight over towards that officer over there. With both passengers now under arrest, Gary can finally inspect the suspicious brown packages found in the suitcases. We suspect them to contain herbal cannabis, and that's why the gentleman has been arrested and cautioned. 
The contents of the packages will need to be formally assessed to get an idea about the weight and the value of the drugs. A strip search was conducted on both passengers, but no further packages were found. The woman is led away to the airport's custody suite to be detained whilst Officer Mike assesses the quantity and value of the drugs found in her suitcase. Uh, she had eight blocks in the bag, all of them are about two kilos each, but I'll chuck them on the scales in a minute and just get a weight of all of them together. With such a large haul of suspect packages, a field test must be conducted to confirm that the substance definitely is herbal cannabis. Put the first drop on it, then that will go through onto the second bit of filter paper, then put some of this powdery stuff on it. And if it's positive, it should go sort of a dark red colour. That's a positive thing. OK, there's a couple of blankets there. If you want anything, just give us a buzz. OK? The male passenger is also detained at the custody suite. There's not a lot he can do until he um, actually gets his solicitor speaks to him. Then after that, uh, other officers will go and interview him. And until then, we're just now going to go through the bags and find out exactly what he's got. A series of large, brown, sealed packages are pulled from the bottom of the man's suitcase. There are eight blocks in total, making it another very significant seizure. Gary weighs the packages of drugs to find out how much the male passenger was carrying. And as you can see there, the eight blocks weigh approximately 17.26 kilograms. So there's probably about 16 and a half to 17 kilograms of herbal cannabis within them packages. With two suitcases full of herbal cannabis being intercepted from the same flight, officers are delighted with the seizure. The 16 blocks found in both suitcases weighed over 34 kilograms in total and had a street value of 80 to 100,000 pounds. At Gatwick Airport, a flight has just touched down from Port of Spain in the Caribbean. UK border agency officers are out in force with the aid of drug detection dogs to stop illegal substances from being imported into the country. Just lower your bag, please, for the dog. While sniffer dogs assess the passengers' hand luggage, officers are on the lookout for behavioural indicators. Hello, sir. Quick customs check. Let's see a passport and ticket, please. Travelling with anybody else today? No. Thank you. What's the reason for your visit? Here on some other business too. Yeah. What's what type of other business? Um, I'm into a lot of Right. So we're looking at foreign news parts. Right. Because there are certain cars in Trinidad that parts are hard to come by. Huh? Yeah. Especially all the European vehicles. Sniffer dog Jesse continues to check passengers coming off the flight, but the officer hasn't finished with the car mechanic just yet. You know, it's a customs controlled area. Uh, do you have anything to declare as customs today at all? Uh, well, I have um, a suitcase. Yeah, you've got your suitcase as well. Yeah. Are these your bags? Yeah. Did you pack them yourself? Yeah. So you're fully aware of the contents? Yeah. Has anybody asked you or forced you to bring anything into the country for them? No. no? You know, it's legal to bring in drugs, weapons, and things like that, yeah? OK. And you know about your duty free allowances? Yeah. Cigarettes and alcohol. OK. So, quick look through. Can you just take a step that way for me? OK, thanks. Officers have a very short window of opportunity to stop drug smugglers coming into the country. Intuition is vital in stopping suspicious passengers. Feels like there's an area in here. I'm just going to cut into that. OK. Yeah. After tearing into the briefcase, it doesn't take long to make a significant discovery. I've just found what I suspect to be cocaine there. So I'm resting you on suspicion of being involved in the importation of a controlled drug. So you don't have to say anything, it may harm your defence. If you don't mention when questioned, it's mentioned later on in court. Anything you do say may be given evidence, do you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. With the inner lining of the briefcase stuffed with a white powder, officers suspect they've intercepted a drug seizure worth thousands of pounds. Just turn this one. 
The passenger will now be detained and taken to the custody suite for further questioning. When we took him to his cell, we said that uh, the satchel was handed to him by somebody else at the airport. He was asked to bring that through. So this isn't his case. But then he already told me that it was his earlier on. Um, we made the arrest because we found a package inside, um, which is in the front here, in the front wall, and in the back wall. Um, earlier on, I cut into the front one. So what I'll do now is just remove some of that white powder with my knife. Just goes blue. And it's... Yep, there we go. So it's gone blue, so that's positive. That should be cocaine. With their suspicions confirmed, the drugs in the briefcase will now be assessed and weighed before the passenger's story is formally investigated. Um, there was only five envelopes in there. Um, and now I've taken those out, it's still quite heavy. You can feel that the walls are quite wide. There's no need for them to be that wide. You can feel that there's something in there, front and back. The back section is quite well done, though. With regards to stitching, you can't really see anything wrong with the stitching. It's just literally how thick it is. The courier himself, I don't know how much money he would have got, maybe uh, a thousand, two thousand pounds, perhaps. Um, but then the risk of getting caught, you know, losing out on all the money, um, it's quite high as well. The briefcase was found to be carrying over two and a half kilos of cocaine with a value of more than £125,000. <laughs>